Well, happening this week, the National Transportation Safety Board will hold a hearing Tuesday on that terrifying Alaska Airlines flight. Back in January, you'll remember, a door plug blew off 16,000 feet in the air shortly after departing Portland, Oregon. The plane was able to land safely with passengers, thankfully, and crew members. They only experienced minor injuries. And since then, Boeing has been under intense scrutiny, facing increasing calls for major changes from airlines and regulators. Ahead of Tuesday's hearing, NTSB is sharing this video of that door plug. It was found in the backyard of a home near Portland after blowing off the plane. Here to discuss all of this further, commercial airline pilot Captain Laura Einsettler. Uh, Captain, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Let's dive right in. We've got so much to get to. Uh, so this hearing is supposed to take place over a couple of days. This is a public hearing. What are you expecting to learn? The NTSB is going to determine exactly the cause of why this happened, uh, who's at fault, what type of processes were in place for uh, quality assurance, and uh, also so between Spirit Aerosystems and also Boeing, uh, and understanding what is going on, what has happened, and what changes need to be made. So Boeing really at the forefront when it comes to this investigation. From your perspective, what are the most consequential issues they're now facing? It's just a matter of understanding how this happened and making the changes so that this type of situation doesn't happen as we go forward. And we are very lucky as an industry that that you know it was there was nobody sitting in those seats at the time and also that they were only at 16,000 feet when this did happen. So it's a matter of determining exactly what the cause was, why those bolts weren't in place and how this can be prevented from ever happening again. So what's interesting here, the NTSB releasing those images we outlined of the door plug. This was for the media ahead of this hearing. Uh, what do you believe the purpose was behind that move? Were you able to glean anything from those photos uh, that maybe told more of the story here? Well, it's just understanding who, how, who and how, from a quality perspective, how did this happen? You know, obviously there were quality issues at the uh, facility for uh, Spirit Aerosystems, and then having that aircraft fuselage uh, at Boeing, and then the work that they did with the rivets in order to, you know, access those rivets by taking the, the door plug off and then not restoring the bolts. So what happened there? You know, was there a different type of a checklist, you know, that that was a kind of a side checklist that wasn't really the the approved FAA uh, certification type checklist that that normally that they would use to make sure that everything is uh, as it should be. So from a passenger standpoint, I'm thinking about what are the changes uh, that are going to be coming from all of this? Are you anticipating any specifically that will work to ensure passenger safety in the future? Well, absolutely. I mean, changes are being made already. There's significant differences as it is. It is. Uh, as it stands, Boeing has bought Spirit Aerospace back again. They were originally part of Boeing and they were branched off uh, many years ago. And so now bringing Spirit, Spirit and a lot of the contractors back in house uh, to keep that quality control and also the processes uh, that they've implemented to just have those the extra set of eyes uh, obviously too with what's happening with the government they've also mandated a third party uh, to be able to just oversee those different aspects of quality control all right well captain we certainly appreciate your time this morning we will be watching thank you for joining us Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.